Hi gang, this is Jeff. This uh, video is going to be a little bit about how I use the Analyze tab to uh, look at risk profiles and look at trades out in the future and, and see what price or volatility, uh, what effect it would have on the spread that I may uh, be anticipating or even uh, a live trade that I'm already in. The uh, symbol that we're going to look at today is IWM, but first of all, um, let me just say that you can see at the bottom of the screen here that um, I have a lot of simulated trades in here. Uh, it says positions and simulated trades. If I were to go here and say uh, hide the simulations, well I'm not in a live trade. This is my, uh, my test account so there are no live trades in here. So I'll just say show all and I don't want things to get cluttered up so I'm just going to say delete these simulated trades and we can start from scratch. Alright, so uh, I said IWM, let's take a look at this. And uh, as soon as you do that you get a blank graph, well because you don't have anything to analyze. So we're going to go over here to uh, add simulated trades which is underneath the analyze tab which is a handy thing to do. And we are, in, it's a little bit too late to do January, so we're going to take a look at a February um, uh, bull put. So we'll click on February here. And scroll down. The um, underlying is currently at $64.13. So um, let's just do a quick analysis here. Let's just take a look. IWM uh, is currently at $64.13. There was some resistance um, at 62 and it actually came and tested, broke through and tested it on the 24th and just took right off. So even though it's down a bit today, uh, it's definitely in an upward trend. So we're going to we're gonna be really confident that this is continue to go up. So we're going to grab something around 62. So we're going to do a uh, bull put at 62. So if we just, the data line here for the 62 put, we just right click on it and we say sell a vertical. And we, our pending trade comes up down here. Let's go back to our risk profile. And um, we can see, I can see that there's something wrong. So now we're in the risk profile and we're going to say, uh, we're going to set this up. We're going to say, I want to include commissions. And that will only be in this part of the screen. Will the, um, will the uh, commissions be included? Any data that you see down below that, co commissions will not be included. And uh, probability mode is uh, probability of expiring. And the probability date, I want to set it to the expiration date of our February options. And the expiration date is highlighted in green. It's the 19th. So let's select that date. Um, I want to plot my lines at 1 plus expiration. Uh, or plus 1 at expiration. <laughs> uh, and that's just telling me that actually it's going to plot. Um, it's going to plot my uh, uh, risk at uh, the Saturday after expiration. All right. So next thing that I do is I set my slices and it defaulted to um, a plus and a minus two deviation which um, I don't use that too much I like to look at uh, one so I there's one already built in here a minus and a plus one uh, deviation from the current price and there we have it and what I'm going to do now, um, just to keep us from being confused by changing prices and things like that, I'm going to go over here and I'm going to lock the price in at 64.17. That way, it's uh, the market's open right now and, and I just don't want things changing on me while I'm trying to show you how I do this. All right, so if we were to, I'm going to lock this also. Of course, that will stay locked, but I'm locking this price in here at 25 cents which is not bad for a $1 spread. That's about a you know, 25% gain if it finishes above the short put, which is a 62. So if it finishes above there, or even a little bit less, um, we will make money. All right, so what we're seeing up here is these, um, 
these uh, slices that I have set here, plus and minus one deviation, are reflected in these dotted lines here and this dotted line here. This, of course, the one in the middle is the current strike, or the current uh, price of the underlying. And what this is telling us is um, there's a 16% chance that um, this will expire above 68.57 in uh, in February. And there's also a approximately 16% chance that it's going to expire below uh, 59.56 in February. Same prices as what we're seeing down here. So that's these dotted lines reflected. If I was to move this dotted line, I would be moving. You can see how that changes. So let me go back to my uh, one standard deviation. All right. So the green line is our profit at expiration based on the price of the underlying which is down here on the bottom. The white line is our profit based on the underlying price today or the day that is down here um, as of 1-8 of uh, 2010. So even though we collected a credit, we don't really get accounted for that until um, the actual expiration. Even though it's in our account, it's not counted as money yet. So we're actually, what we're showing here is um, uh, the current profit minus our commissions. And we can go down here and see what was that commission. Well, if we click and do a right click and do a confirm and send, we can see that the commission was five dollars and ninety cents. So even though uh, we thought we were going to make twenty-five dollars after commissions, we're only going to make nineteen dollars and ten cents. So that's a true, including commissions, nineteen point one percent gain if it finishes above sixty-two. There, I just sent the order. I do that once in a while. But that's okay. All right, so. You know, uh, now we have an actual live order out there for this February uh, spread. We also um, could add more simulated trades to it. And if we did that, we would go back here and we would say, well, you know, let's do something like an iron condor. And we could go here and say we want to sell a vertical. And effectively, that's... This is an iron condor, and if we go back and look at the risk profile, then we'll, we will see that our profit zone is in between um, these two strike prices, our two short strike prices, actually. And again, you know, this green line is the profit at expiration. The white line is the profit today. And let's go down just for kicks and uh, click on this little calendar down here. And let's move this out to the first Friday in February. And we can see that if the price remains at 64.17, oh, we went live here. I need to change that back. I need to lock it in here. Uh, we will be up $15.05. So that's how we can look into the future if the price, current price stays the way that it is without moving at all. We know that that doesn't happen. Let's go back and look at our chart. See this black line that I have in here? This is the current trend. This green box is actually today's date out to expiration over here on 219. Um, so if the, if the price actually falls anywhere within this box, uh, we're going to be okay. We're going to make money. Well, if we were to look here, I said the first Friday in February, and that's right here. And we can see that that is 2.5 of 2010, and the price is 66.75. So if the current trend were to hold, and we went back here, oh, what was it again? I forgot what it was. <laughs> it was uh, 66.86, okay? 66.86. This little wrench down here, um, kind of hidden, if we click on that, we can change uh, the volatility percent change and the stock price. So we said 66.86, and we press enter, 
and guess what we just went up on 2.5 to 66.86 and we tweaked our profit up a little bit uh, what is going on here let's take that off of there this is driving me nuts this iron condor is just messing everything up for me uh, for my presentation anyway we need to unlock this price okay all right now things are looking better all right so back to our uh, bull put um, if the price of the stock went to 66.86 and it was the first Friday in February we would be up $21.51 on this $21.53 it would be a good time to exit, I guess, if you want to pay the commissions. Uh, and it's entirely possible that you won't pay commissions because with Think or Swim, if uh, your short um, option is a nickel or less, they don't charge you commission to buy it back, which is uh, nice if things are moving very nicely. And it's really a good idea to um, get out of positions expiration week when that happens anyway because you just never know what's going to happen expiration week. It can be really crazy. And uh, also, if you wanted to change the volatility, so if right now we're at 21.62 and we change the volatility, let's say it increases by 5%, we would be at 18.51. If the volatility decreases by 5%, doesn't like that when I do that. Minus 5. And you can see that you might as well get out because you're at practically 100% of your profit anyway. Because, and because your short option due to the decrease in volatility is probably worth nothing. Okay, so um, that's how you use this. Um, again, just be careful with these dates. Just want to flag this out again for you to make sure that your probability date is your expiration date of the options that you're looking at. And make sure that your date down here is at least start out with today. And you can just say go to today. Or you can just say reset parameters and it like zeroes everything out. So if you click this reset parameters, it brings you back to reality or uh, back to the current time. So I think that's it. That's all I wanted to show you on this video. Um, I hope you enjoyed it. If you have questions or you need any clarification or anything like that, just give me a comment on my blog. Thanks, and have a great day.